Hello everyone, and this is the results of my yarn dyeing. I like this one the best. I'm calling this Dream Sickle. I use I just use the orange. It's not showing up as vibrant, um, but I used orange and I left some white. Now this one is the cherry. It looks more vibrant. My phone's not doing it justice. Now, I wish I had ditched the purple altogether because this one was the one I did with the purple and the pink and the orange and then I added more of the purple. The purple washed out more and it started doing some funky, see, you can see some green. Um, so I'm not happy with that. Now I have the problem of how am I gonna get this stuff rolled up? And then this one I had done in the purple. And it was, part of it was turning green, part of it was turning blue. So I was like, you can see some right there. I thought, forget this, I don't like this. So I made some very strong coffee. Um, see, there's still some green in it. But Anyway, these two are my favorite, and again, this shows up more pink, um, cherry color in real life than there, that looks orange there. And then I like, I made two of these, because I just took the orange and I left some white. Now, the beet one, every bit of it washed out. It is now a beige, or off-white color, except where I had it tied. I don't know if it's because I um, I was thinking since I I didn't have any real beets, I thought I had you know fresh beets to juice, but I didn't because I mean it. I literally, well not literally, but I eat beets almost every day. So I don't know if I had already eaten them or if I forgot to get them. Who knows with me, but um, I don't know if I hold this up. If it, no, it's not going to show any better. Um, so I thought, well, I better add acid because it's not going to have acid like the Kool-Aid. Well, then it started turning white, and I thought, well, this could be cool. It could be like a pink and white, but it wasn't doing right. I added vinegar, and then I started <laughs> probably did have acid because it was canned beets but anyway that one's my favorite now I have the problem of how am I going to get these rolled up and what am I going to make with them again that looks more orange even though it's very bright pink um, cherry and then that's the coffee one but you can see I thought I was correct in the problem but you can still see some green but this was my first time and I really, I had a lot of fun with it. This one, when I started rinsing it out, the the, the uh, grape Kool-Aid, I couldn't get it to work. I think I put too much water in it. So anyway, I love that one. I just love that. It reminds me of a dream sickle or candy corn or something, I don't know. But um, I sh told you all I would do a little video and upload it at my results. I'm not even showing the one that all the beet juice just came out of it. Um, because it, it literally is just a dirty white looking, you know. So I may try it again. I thought about um, one could possibly juice carrots. You could ju you could juice. Um, I don't know about celery because celery is very watery. Um, but there's a lot of you know vegetables and stuff one could juice and do this. But I believe like if I had I had the actual fresh beets and I love beet greens. Beet greens are my favorite greens and they're some of the most healthy for you or better for your health. Um, but I think then you might would have to add vinegar or something like that. I wish I had the professional dyeing kit, but 
and the actual hanks because now I have no idea how I'm going to get this rolled up. This looks darker too in real life. And the coffee one don't look green. It looks more tan. But it does have some green in it from that. I won't, I won't do any uh, grape Kool-Aid again. But that's just the results that I wanted to show you all. And hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to get them balled up. So you all have a happy 4th, and I'll see you in the next one.